All right, today on Repairs 101, I've got this benchtop blast cabinet. I'll set it up, show you what it came with, what it needed, and uh, what happened to this box that it came in. This episode of Repairs 101 is sponsored by Princess Auto. Check them out at princessauto.com. So the cabinet itself came assembled, and it came with these five extra protective window prote protective window protectors, really. And it also came with this roll of silicone tape for the air fittings. While there is a light that's sold separately for this cabinet, I decided to save a few bucks and repurpose this magnetic corner light that I got at Princess Auto. The bigger hose on the gun is the abrasive pickup and the small one is for the air fitting. And as a bonus, it came with some different sized nozzle tips. So you just drop the pickup into the sump and tighten the nut up on the other side. Next, you want to negotiate this tray into place with the abrasive pickup hose passing through the cutaway section. And for just a few dollars more, I put on a regulator with a gauge on the air inlet. Now, there was no adapter for the vacuum, so I made one out of, well, this chucket ball that I noticed that was a similar size. Amazingly, it holds on nice and snug without any adhesives or duct tape. 
Now, this cabinet's compatible with all manners of abrasive, ranging from glass bead to soda to walnut shells. I opted for aluminum oxide because of its aggressiveness. So the manual calls for seven liters of abrasive. I tried to use less, but it starved the pickup. Here you can see the dust escaping in spite of the fact that I've got a vacuum running to evacuate all the dust. So you must wear a respirator when you're using your cabinet. And this is why you have to wait till the dust settles before you open the door. So, I've collected a whole bunch of really interesting, rusty old junk that I'm going to be blasting clean over the next little while. So have a look at my next video to see what it is exactly I'm going to be doing with all this old rusty junk.